Hey everybody, so today I thought I would do something a little bit different than usual. I thought we would have a little chit chat. So welcome aboard to Chit Chat with Alice. So today I thought we could do a little chit chat about the iPhone 6 release. And of course, no chit chat is complete without your good old English cup of tea. Now if you don't drink tea, or you drink coffee, or you drink whatever, go and get yourself one of them, pause this video, come back, and let's have a proper chit chat with a cup of tea, because I love cup of tea, me. <laughs> okay, so the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus has been released by Apple, and I'm not really that excited this time. Um, last time when the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 5C came out, I was super, super excited. I had an iPhone 4 at the time and I just wanted to throw my iPhone in the bin and buy myself the iPhone 5 because it looks so, so good. You know, the iPhone, iPhone C was coloured and the iPhone 5S was fingerprinting ID and I just thought it was you know an amazing concept and it was something that not a lot of phones had like I know there's loads of coloured phones out there and you guys are probably like oh there's loads of phones which are coloured but if you think of people like Windows or like Samsung they don't have a phone like the iPhone which has so much potential so much power and yet has such beautiful colours now I do know the Nokia does and the Nokia is nice but the iPhone, I just think, because the iPhone has always stuck to black, silver. That's it, isn't it? They've not really had any other major colour. Then they brought out gold in this S. And I really, really thought that was quite a nice touch. And then the iPhone 5S obviously had the finger ID, which was an amazing to me. I was like, girl, I gotta get me one of them. But this time, I'm not that excited. I don't really think there's anything major which draws me into the iPhone. Now I do know which I think is every single Apple iPhone user's dream is that they have released the battery life for it and I believe that it has a talk life of 12 hours which is a lot better than the iPhone battery that there is at the moment which I think is good I suppose Um, you know uh, I've always always wanted a bigger battery in my iPhone and you know Apple are kind of taking that on board but if it lasts again you know it's easy to say oh it has 12 hours talk time but no one is going to sit on the phone for 12 hours talking about you know non-stop no one's going to do that and even though they say oh it's 12 hours talk life does it last for 12 hours so I don't know I think it's one of the things where once I get my hands on it and once I've looked at it and seen the different stuff that it's got on it I think it will kind of change my mind. It's like when they released it they were telling you all these exciting things and how the widgets on the desktop are going to be more simple and it's going to look like the Android system on the phone. But to me that is ISO 8, that is not the iPhone and it really frustrates me when people are like oh it's going to look like the Android with Apple have copied this, Apple have copied that, but to be honest with you, they're not uploading it on just the iPhone 6, that's going to go on every single, that is Apple's platform, and therefore, it's nothing new, like, oh, oh my god, it's going to it's gonna have a better looking background, yeah, but so is every other iPhone, which the ISO 8 is going to fit, so I, I don't know, I just, I'm not really that excited for it yet at the moment, just take a little sip of my tea. <laughs> that's lovely so I don't know Um I know the one thing that I am quite excited about for the iPhone 6 is the camera because the camera is supposed to be a lot better than it is on the iPhone 5s now my camera on my phone is good anyway Um I like it I do use my camera an awful lot to take photos and I I like it but I, again I think Apple can do so much with it and I feel like they've kind of realized that and they're bringing in this amazing amazing camera and there isn't much with the megapixels that's all the same it's mainly just the way it works the way it's gonna look and I think that's gonna be brilliant and that'd be really exciting to see if there is a genuine change or if it's just Apple saying oh there's gonna be a change but hopefully there'll be a big change and then it'll be great uh, and the iPhone 6 Plus, again, I have a little bit of a doubt for because of the size of the iPhone 6 Plus. The iPhone 6 Plus screen, I believe, is 
centimeters width. So it's that way, it's 5.5. That is a hell of a lot. I know that this is four. The screen on this is a four. So the iPhone 5, iPhone 6 Plus is going to be massive. And I mean, it's great having a really, really big phone, but at the same time, it's thinking of practi practi practicality. I can't say that word. Practicality. Oh, said it. Um, yeah, I just think if it's not practical enough, then people aren't going to use it. Like, someone was telling me, you know, it's great that they've gone for a bigger phone, but at the same time, you know, people, and I'm not being a bit sexist here, and if it sounds a little bit sexist, I'm sorry, but if you're a man, and you don't have a bag, and you've got the iPhone 6 Plus, and it is going to be as big as, you know, they've said it is, where are you going to put it? Like, you can't, you don't have a bag, so you can't just carry around this massive iPhone with you if you're going to work. And it might not fit in a pocket, because, you know, it's not going to fit in your trouser pocket. So you're just going to be stuck with this massive phone that looks like a handbag. So you're kind of stuffed, really. But overall, I am still super excited, because I've always never, ever, ever been disappointed with Apple. And I don't expect to be disappointed for them now. Again, the only thing which I feel a bit like, dame, is that they've got rid of the 32 gig. Why have they got rid of the 32 gig? It goes 8, 16, and then like 129 gig, which is something like $900. I don't know the UK prices. I can't seem to find the UK prices. If I do find out the UK prices of the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, I will pop them down in the description below. But I do know that it's 100, It's 129 gig a phone, which is an investment. It's not even something... I mean, I do use my phone and I use my memory a lot but I do also back it up onto the Mac and so do you really need that much of a gig? I mean I like to change my phone every two years and if I was to have that much of a gig I don't think I would. I think I'd be really like upset because you've kind of bought yourself this massive phone, this massive memory and then not used it all. And it's $900. That is a lot of money. And that is a massive investment. That's like 700 UK pounds, which is a lot. It is a lot of money. So, I don't know. I think if you are someone that uses your phone all the time, you use it for a lot of, a lot of business stuff, then obviously you're going you're gonna to want to buy that much. But if you're not, then I just think it's a lot of money. So, I don't know. But that is it. And I... I'm going to try it out, I'm going to test it, see if I like it, hopefully I will, and I'm probably going to end up getting one anyway, because I've had every other iPhone, so not going to make a difference, but that's my little review on the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus, I would love, love to hear your views on the iPhone 6, and if you also like this little chit chat with Alice, please, please give this little video a th thumbs up so that I know you enjoyed it, and make sure you click that subscribe button, because subscribers make me happy, and... Girl, I gotta be happy. <laughs> and I'll see you all next time.